Hello everyone, I am Christophe Corbalan, a 29 years old web developer, and I'm here today to talk to you about um, Storyblock applications and to show you an example of what you can do with it. So I will show you the application that I made, which is basically integrating Google Analytics uh, via Storyblock applications which was actually quite easy because of how Storyblock did set up um, all the applications process. So, so yeah, that's, that's all that are going to be about. So let's get started. So like I said, I'm Christophe Corbalan, uh, a full stack developer, currently working at togetherdigital.ie. Uh, hello guys. Uh, I started web development like many years ago, like I learned myself by myself um, most of the web dev stuff that, that I know. Um, I'm working as a web dev professionally, like officially, uh, since many years now, maybe eight years or nine years. But started web dev uh, maybe 14 or 16 years ago. It was kind of pretty young, but I loved it. And <laughs> here I am, so, so yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm as well a Storyblock ambassador, really proud of it because um, Storyblock is actually great. Like the people in the team and, and all, it's, it's just great. They are growing really, really quickly and it's, it's amazing. Uh, so yeah, that was kind of, everything about me for now, like nothing to tell, nothing special to tell. Um, so um, this talk, like I said, is going to be about um, storyblock applications. Uh, somewhere to get started, like a point, like some, some guidelines to tell you what you can do to get started with the storyblock applications. Uh, so it can give you an idea on I don't know how to make sample basic applications with examples, GitHub repositories and tools that you can use. Um, then we will do uh, an application overview of the Google Analytics application to show you how it looks, how it works in general, the features which are there, uh, what has been done, what you can do with it. Uh, so. Yeah, just an overview on it. Then we're gonna do a technical overview. It's gonna be like kind of a quick technical overview because I don't want to go too deep into the code because it's gonna be out of context kind of Storyblock applications. Basically the Storyblock applications will be, part will be important on the setup side, but the application itself will be just normal Vue.js stuff communicating with uh, a custom server uh, with the Google API for uh, for getting the data. So it's not it will not be always related to Storyblock, but I will highlight the most important stuff about Storyblock. Um, so yeah, what's next then uh, and what could be improved? So those are just like personal thoughts about um, what I could do to make the application better uh, and all this kind of stuff, maybe optimization a bit on some on some sides, but yeah, I think that's I think that's that's basically it. So yeah, that's that's the that's a summary. All right, let's go. Um, so yeah, Storyblock applications. It's kind of new, I would say. Like it's maybe less than a year or two. Maybe, maybe a year and a half or something. And it's not available to everyone. So um, first of all, you need to be part of the partners program. You can apply at any time. You just go to storyblock.com slash partners um, and you will see a button to apply there. So, so yeah, you need to be part of the partners program to create Storyblock applications. Um, 
so what are story block applications? Basically, like if you're here, you already, of course, use story block in the past. Uh, you have some experience of, of it. So creating an application will allow you to kind of extend story block with your own bit of code, bit of features. Um, so when you when you log into Storyblock, you will have all your spaces on the left. Like basically, it's how Storyblock is. You have uh, all the menus on the left, and on the right, it's all about content related. So on the left, you have the typical links, which are content settings, components, assets, and then installing new apps um, will uh, allow you to add new links there. So if you install the 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 Google Analytics app, which is for now uh, not available to everyone due to uh, company privacy purposes, um, you will have a new link at the on the on the left navigation, which will be called Google Analytics app. It, it's not specific to the app that I made. Like if you go to the App Store of Storyblock, you will see. If you install any application, mostly it will appear on the left. Like it depends on the application, but it's generally how it works. So, um, so yeah, that's that's uh, that's one of the concept of the applications. Um, you have also directly access to the API within the applications. Uh, we'll get more in details about this uh, later in the talk, but it's. It's really useful. It's really useful. You have quick access to the API, and you can get content of the current space you're working on pretty quickly. So that's that's good. Um, I'm gonna talk to you about um, a package that I, that I made for Node.js. Uh, it's a it's a plugin for Express, uh, which is allowing you to create Storyblock applications quite easily like with just a few lines you will you, you will have your express server running and connected to your express uh, to your storyblock application so that's that's a good thing i guess um and yeah that's that's it for the for the storyblock applications presentation um, so yeah, what to get started. So like I said, you need to join the partners program. This is really important. You can't create storyblock applications at the moment. It might change in the future. I don't know. Uh, so you need to be part of the partners program for now. Um, I also added a link there for the official document documentation of storyblock uh, related to apps authentication. You need to know that applications um, applications on Storyblock needs, of course, authentication, and there's a whole process for it, which is described in the docs. And you can either build something yourself, which is going to be matching the documentation, the explanation that the Storyblock guys gave you there, or you can use a boilerplate like a an example app that Storyblock made, which is actually great. Um, so you just clone the repo, follow the readme, and um, and you you'll see it's it's pretty straightforward process. So that's 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 a good example. Uh, I would recommend it. And then there's my uh, Storyblock app at Express, which I talked a bit about uh, earlier, which is going to help you to create. Express uh, Express Server acting as an as a Storyblock application, so it's going to do all the authentication for you just in a few lines. Uh, so it's yeah, it's it's going to be pretty easy using it. So uh, this is what the Storyblock workflow app is looking uh, is looking like. Uh, you can visit the GitHub page, like I said, clone the repo, play with it, read the README, and it's yeah, it's it's really easy. It's really easy, honestly, and the the, the application is is actually nicely done. So, yeah. And here's the package that I made, uh, which I was talking about. As you can see, um, it's just a few lines. Um, you just require Express, like if you already used it. But I guess if you're there, you might be, you might be a developer already. Um, so. You, you require Express, you require my package, which is Storyblock app at Express. You Express use my plugin, and then 
that's it. You can you can uh, directly use the story block object to interact with the API, like in the ex in the example code there. So so yeah, give it a try. I, th I think the best thing there is to give a try to boss packages, maybe boss boss um, boss GitHub repo that I send there. There are other examples on story block organization, GitHub organization, I think. So do not hesitate to have a look there. They have tons of repos and it's actually quite interesting. Um, so yeah, give it, have a look, have a look there and see what you can learn there, but it's really interesting. Um, okay, so now I'm going to talk to you about the Google Analytics application that I made using the uh, using the github repository that i shared with you uh, uh, a minute ago and this application is like like <laughs> it's google analytics on storyblock like it's it's less complete of course it's it gives you more friendly interface like you land on the application, like as you can see on the picture, you land on the application and you have almost everything useful, the global information quite quickly and everything on one page. Um, as it's a company based application, like it's it was mainly in togetherdigital.ie, uh, there's some privacy things, issues that I can't show. This is why there are some stuff which is blurred out. Um, so, but it's, this screenshot anyway should show you, you you should have an idea of how it works in 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 general there so you can see um the sessions uh the users the page views the average session duration uh the devices mobile tablet which is the most used desktop um and all of this the most visited countries well the where the users are coming from the most um you can date range the, the data so you can easily click the drop down um, on the on the date picker on the top left and select a range like last month three months ago last year or something like this um, you have the most used browser the top search keywords and, and yeah i think that's it like it's 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 really, the goal there was to make something really simple uh, so the user will be able to see their data without having to click on too much places and see things they don't want to see. Like usually clients don't, like people for their site just want to see important stuff. And uh, so yeah, I think I think that was, that was the main goal. So this is why I did it like this way, in a simple way kind of. Um, so yeah, Google Analytics still the application overview, the countries. Uh, so this is an example of the of the top countries from the last month uh, on one of our sites, and you can see that uh, you can see that you have a quite a simple graph to show you which countries uh, the users are mostly coming from. So, so yeah. Here's the here's the date uh, date picker, which is quite simple. I'm using a package there for it. Really, really useful. You might already know it, but I'm going to share it with you um, in a minute. So yeah, you you're able to select like any range, uh, any range of of um, of date. Uh, you can select don't know the last two years or the last three months or whatever you want or any period like it's gonna update pretty quickly it's it's actually really fast so that's um, that's a really good thing and an important thing for clients and users basically so that was all for the application overview like as it was quite simple uh, that there wasn't like too much things to talk about just to, on the application itself like it's just um, a Google Analytics API bridge. Like it's, it's just communicating with the API, getting the data and formatting it in a nice way. Um, but yeah, the interesting part there was to integrate it as a storybook application. Uh, using the Express package, uh, I was able to, to make this whole process 
in a really easy way. Um, I could have used, I could have used like Storyblock does have a, a Next.js um, application ready for Storyblock applications uh, that you can use. But I wanted something, it's really great, that's not the, the, the question, it's just that Next.js and Next.js are quite heavy, in, like they consume some CPU and, and memory, but, and RAM, um, and I wanted something really lightweight, so just a few lines, like it was a small application. So this is why, those were my motivations, why, why I wanted to code a simple express plugin for it, because I wanted to keep everything lightweight everything clean, like really small, basically. That, that was the concept. So yeah, uh, the Google Analytics application um, is just using a Node.js server on the back end, of course, as you guessed, and the Google API's NPM package to get all the data from Google Analytics um, via their API and retrieving it and serving it on the front end. Uh, for the charts and graphics, I used Vue Apex Charts, uh, which is actually great because uh, it's really flexible. It's uh, it's it's quite beautiful, and you can customize it quite easily as well. I used uh, vCalendar for the date picker. It's uh, it's as well a great package. Um, a lot of flexibility. You can do like many 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 things with that. I used it in the past, and it's yeah, it's just just absolutely great. So we'll definitely recommend it. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's basically it for the for the technical overview there. Um, so what's next and what could be improved on the Google Analytics application? There's many things that could be improved, like maybe some first of all some code optimizations. Like uh, it's actually. The code is actually quite correct, but there could be some optimization done there, like some refactoring or something. Um, so yeah, for the important features that I could add in the future could be getting some reports every month, weeks or days by email. Like it's, it, it can be important for people, you know, like you don't necessarily always log into, you don't necessarily always want to log into uh, the backend to Storyblock or Google Analytics to check your reports and stuff you just want. You would like, you know, like a quick resume of, um, of what was going on the last week, the last few days, or uh, any custom date range or anything. Could be really useful to have this uh, in your mail, in your pocket or something. Uh, also being able to download reports as PDF to share them with um, other people in in the same company or something like if you want to share quick reports with people don't know for for anything like it's it could be useful and then that last point is uh, actually yeah it, I think we could make the application available for everyone um, it, as I said like this application was built uh, in in my company, like uh, not my company, I mean where I'm working on, um, it's togetherdigital.ie, and and yeah, for 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 privacy purposes, uh, I don't know yet if the application will be available for everyone. So uh, my guess is that yes, it will be in the in the future available for everyone. Not open source, that's for sure. Sorry, guys, uh, but uh, yeah, no, yeah. That's, I think that's basically it. Um, so yeah, sorry, I, uh, I'm not like, <laughs> like you have guessed, I'm not a native English speaker, uh, I'm French. So uh, if I did any mistakes, misspelling anything, just, just sorry about that. Uh, tried my best there, so yeah. And finally, if you have any questions, uh, we have the Discord server for it. So if you have any questions regarding this conference, this talk in particular, the Storyblock applications, anything related to Storyblock, do not hesitate to join the, the Discord server, uh, as you can see there, and will surely be linked with the conference, uh, with the conference there. So yeah, join the community and yeah, feel free to ask anything. And I think, I think that's it.
So thanks everyone for watching. And yeah, have a nice day, everyone. Bye. Cheers.